What's up guys, mainly hockey cards here and today I'm going over my 10 favorite pickups for the month of March. I haven't done one of these videos in quite some time and picked up some neat stuff so here it goes from lowest price to highest. First, some honorable mentions. For just $18, this Theodore scripted swatches. This Sogard Wonderkind patch auto rookie for $25 and Tavares exquisite patch autograph out of $25 for $30. For $37, this Joe Mullen Theo Fleury dual autograph one of one, and for roughly $45, a Sorokin Retro Red PMG. Starting out my 10 favorite pickups with this Star Ruby Cider Rookie out of 50. This is a cool retro insert, and I'm debating building the set of these since I already have quite a few already. They don't grade well, but I think they are stunning in person. This ran me $48.33 US in total, which I found was more than fair. Next, for $48.57, this Eichel Exquisite Quad Rookie Patch out of $99. Eichel will never sniff McDavid levels of value, but he's an elite player and has a cup. I like collecting Eichel, even if the entire city of Buffalo hates him. For $53.85, a Tavares Subban Dual Program of Excellence autograph out of 5 This card does have some wear and tear, but two really nice on-card signatures of two great players. While Subban's career did trail off a little bit, this is a really cool card to own for two Canadian hockey legends. For $67.82, I picked up this Boris Mikhailov rookie. It's a PSA 1, which is not great, but it completes the line I have from this 1969-70 series. I now have Vladimir Petrov, Boris Mikhailov, and Valery Harlamov rookies, all PSA graded, which was a bucket list goal for my collecting journey. At 7356, I felt that this exquisite black one of one rookie of Braden Schneider was a great deal. I'm eyeing some more rare one of ones, but a cool card to own as a Rangers fan and as a fan of Braden Schneider. I think this is a pretty liquid card if I do decide to move it, so happy either way if holding or selling. For 13327, I picked up this Trechiak rookie. It's definitely an overpayment given the condition, but I was willing to do it because the card will never leave my collection unless I upgrade it to a better copy. I'm still looking for a couple more of his rookies, but I am glad that this one was checked off the list. For just over $170, I picked up this Patrick Kane exquisite endorsement patch auto short print out of 25. Truthfully, I was not looking for this card or anything like it, but at the price point and the career revival year he's having, I am happy to add this one to my collection. For $266.55, I felt that Igor Shesterkin has come down a little and that it is the perfect time for me to pick up this crisp, the Cup Gold Rookie Autograph out of 36. I'm a big Shesterkin fan, Rangers fan, and it's a card that I think I'll be holding for a while. At $271.89, this Marner one of one patch autograph is a little bit of an off the board purchase for me, but I've really enjoyed watching Marner throughout his career and I think he still has a lot of upward potential. This die cut is a really unique card and I'm just happy to have it. Lastly, at $350 is this Marner exquisite patch out of five. And I know you're thinking that is one heck of an overpayment. Why would you do that? Well, now I have three of the five copies. If you know where the other two are, I am paying a premium for both. And if you lead me to a closed deal for either one, I'll pay a $25 finder's fee to you too. So some really cool pickups this month. What's your favorite recent pickup that you've had? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Peace.